Hi, and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan, and behind me here, we have a new 2022 Forest River R-Pod 193. Now let's begin, as you can tell, it's not the biggest unit we have back in our 22 service bay area. However, it comes in at 23 feet long and weighs approximately 3,654 pounds dry. Also, it has an exterior height of just about 10 feet, coming in at 9 feet 10 inches. So if you've got a bigger garage stall at home, it's about the same length as one of your big pickup trucks that's probably going to pull it. It may fit in there. Otherwise, starting up front here, we're going to go all the way around the unit. We have a bush camp uh, stove set up right here, and a nice griddle top, and a uh, table with an outlet underneath in case you want to use like a waffle maker or something out here. Today we're making cameras, however, when you come around over here, no R pod is actually made the same, believe it or not. You should write this down. These little gold dots. Look at the one right next to you uh, next time you come in to Bullion RV, and uh, it will not have the same pattern, even if it's the same exact model. Lovely little frog up top. He changes every year, too. Down here, we have nice pass through storage. Plenty of wires and stuff that come with your amp, your stand for your TV, actually, and a few other things. Outside of what Bullion also offers in our starter bucket, that just comes with the unit itself. This also sits on four manual jacks. There's two up front and also two in the back. Coming around the front here, you do actually have a window right here. I didn't pop it open today because with my luck I'd forget it open and we drag it back outside into the snow. However, you can crack that open, especially in the summer, to get a nice cross-flow ventilation. You got a power jack tongue right here and one 20-pound propane tank. You're missing your 12 volt deep cycle battery, but upon purchase with every unit here at Bullion, you do get one of those. And around the driver's side, here's the other side of your pass-through storage. City water connection point. Point, uh, excuse me. Here is your one slide on this unit that houses your couch, your seating arrangement, which we'll look at on the inside. You're prepped for slide toppers. It's your hot gallon, six gallon hot water heater, gas electric, sitting on two. 15 inch Goodyear tires. That's standard on all our pod products. On the back side here, you do have storage underneath what would be your bunks in this unit. And also below that, you do have your gray and black tank dumps. Across the board, this unit holds 30 gallons of fresh gray and black water. Your cable setup, satellite, power right there. Back side, you do have a full ladder in case you gotta get up top. You're wired again for a backup camera. Plenty of high brake lights. If you've been in Duluth today, you'd really like having those going down the road because it is foggy. You have one full-size spare tire. Back to the passenger side. I believe this is a 12 to 15 foot awning with LED lights beneath. You do have outdoor speakers on the inside and the outside and then also on the inside as well. That will be controlled right at the command center. Right up there. Not only will you be able to control your music inside outside, you can also play Bluetooth, hook up your phone. Here's going to be a couple switches right here, and then down below your other part of the command center, you have your tanks, water heater, water pump, the good stuff. This unit also has an enclosed underbelly in case you are trying to camp a little bit cooler temperatures later in the season or earlier in the season. Nice little snippet right here. We do have Asdel throughout this unit. So basically, here's an example. It's gonna be right there at the back side, what's in the middle, and the actual fiberglass that's found here on the outside. Granted, you're missing a few structural components, but in this prime example, it's what you're looking at, keeping this unit dry, warm, and lighter than you units using other materials. Right to the left here, as you can see, you have your kitchen. You have a nice deep sink right here, two burner gas stove top, Overhead storage, below storage, and a convection microwave, so we're not wasting any space trying to throw an oven in here. Across from your kitchen, you have, again, here's that slide with storage and your pull-out couch or your dining room table. This guy's movable, so if you want to go outside with it, perfect. Just drag it out the door. You got a nice couch. You want to eat inside, sit the couch. You got your table, a couple cup holders. Take a peek at the storage. Boom, oh, he's got little drawers too. Look at that. I didn't open this one yet, so yeah, that's the biggest one so far. Your sleeping area, getting your Murphy bed right here. You got another couch, you can see 
probably three people if not more. Otherwise you have outlets on either side. You have a TV to the right. Again, there's actually stands for, which I haven't seen before. I'm gonna pass your storage out there in case you wanna just connect that and put it somewhere else. Otherwise, assembling this bad boy is pretty easy. Let me demonstrate with one hand. Oh, don't forget this guy. Come back around, we're gonna pull this pin. Come on. Let's go, muscles. There we go. This is my left hand, so very awkward angle. Otherwise, here's your bed up front here. And again, there's that window in the front. You do have sunshades and nightshades. And then if you pull those up and down, you can either have one or the other or open the window and just have all the air come in the unit. Moving the back, here's your gas electric refrigerator. Keep things cold from nor cold. Otherwise below, you do have a central vac. So in terms of cleaning this unit, fairly easy. All you gotta do is sweep everything right there. And then when it comes to cleaning it out, you just take that apart and you pull that out. And that's how that cookie crumbles. Otherwise to the right is gonna be your pantry. Again, plenty of storage in here for all your dry goods for camping and whether it's you and the dog, you and the significant other, you the significant other and your dog, you the significant other, the dog and the kids. Maybe you got three kids, maybe you got three friends, who knows? Plenty of spots, you got five spots for people to sleep in here between these two bunks, the couch and the bed. Otherwise, last but not least, we have your bathroom for everyone to use. Very big for being a smaller travel trailer. Again, plenty of space in the shower. You have essentially a sink right there. When you're done using the bathroom, you can wash your hands in here. And you do have a water miser right there. So basically, if you don't want to waste any water while your shower is heating up, you just flip that up a few minutes later once your hot water is ready cycles through and comes back out so nothing is wasted nothing is put directly into your great tank and filling those up faster than you'd rather have oh look at that aqua view shower miser should have just read this sticker for you otherwise your linen closet would be considered this we could have five one two three four separate storage areas that's up to you again this is the force river 2022 model of the RPOD 193. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to call me, Tristan, at 507-923-5675. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.